Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his guy, his guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Uh, I just happened to come upon another fall beer that I missed. This is Magic Hat's Odd Notion for Fall 2009. Um, I think the official name of it is the, is a, the Belgian Chocolate Stout. Um, and the funny thing about the Odd Notions is like the only way to find out their names it's a look on their website, otherwise it's just called Odd Notion. And they never tell you anything about the beer on the bottle or the packaging or anything, so it's kind of a crap shoot if you're not a big beer geek like us, who would actually go to the trouble of printing it out. Off the, off, off the uh, brewer's website. Anyways! Um, this Belgian style chocolate stout is full of roasty goodness and amazing complexity that can only come from the addition of five different types of malts. The Belgian yeast strain provides a spicy phenolic character and a subtle clove note that warms the palate. Uh, for the malts they use pale roasted barley, Munich dark crystal and crystal, uh, Columbus hops, 6.2% uh, ABV and it's 50 IBU so that's pretty bitter. Um, to go with this, I got a, a brownie. As you can see here, just put it back in the microwave if you get a little warm there, yeah. So, I'm, I'm really excited about this one, because I thought I had missed this for good, but I went to a different beer store. Well, it's the sister store of the beer store that I usually go to, and I had to buy a whole 12-pack of the Magic Hat, you know, one of their mix packs. That's okay, because I wanted to re-review uh, a couple of the beers in there anyways. Well, I poured it the J-Way, straight down the center. As you can see, just a nice, big, fat, brown head. It looks kind of creamy, like chocolate milk or something like that. As you can see, just total black, opaque body. Maybe if I hold up to the light. No, that's totally black. It's not even red. Um, it smells pretty good. I can smell, I can smell it as soon as I poured it. It is very roasty and malty. A um, little bit of chocolate in the nose. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some of the other chocolate beers I've had, um, but not like the super chocolatey ones. Like this reminds me more of like um, Young's Double Chocolate or something like, or like Brooklyn Black Chocolate Stout, so this is not a Russian Imperial, it's, um, it's considered a Belgian dark ale so it's like a pretty general vague term anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering here and start drinking mmm just like the what it kind of reminds me of is like Rogue Chocolate Stout um, because it is that bitterness and that chocolate um, in the finish, and it's, it's fairly roasty. It has a, a real nice aftertaste. This is this beer is really good. Um, my only complaint about it would be is that all the finish is, or all the taste is in the finish because up front it's very mild. Not that, not that it's bad at all. It's it's actually I think this is a very drinker friendly beer, a great dessert beer. Speaking of which, let's see how it goes with uh, my Swanson brownie here. Nice. Um, the chocolate in here is is fairly subtle, so it's not like overwhelming. I think I think Rogue Chocolate Stout is probably like the most chocolatey beer I've ever had. This isn't quite that intense, um, although I think I would say it has more chocolate than Young's or the Sam Adams uh, Chocolate Block. It's smooth for 6.2%. Um, it doesn't feel like that heavy of a beer. It doesn't 
You know, it's not that intense in your mouth. I like it. This is kind of like... The, the best I can describe it is kind of like a rogue chocolate style light. You know, it's not nearly that intense of a beer as far as flavor or anything. Um, you know, they tend to look for, you know, it says a subtle clove note that warms the palate. I don't really get that here. Um, you know, because from that description, it makes it sound like it's like an imperial beer. Um, you know, 6.2% is a little bit above average as far as, you know, potency, but, um, you know, it's not enough so that it's, it tastes like a boozy beer or anything. I just want to point out, look at the the lacing on the glass. That's a... Quite a hoppy beer. Especially for just a, a stout, you know? A Belgian dark ale. I like it. Um, I've had better chocolatey beers. But this one, I mean, just for a beer in general, it's it's excellent. So I'm going to go 9 out of 10 for uh, Magic Hat's Fall 2009 Odd Notion, the Belgian stout, or the Belgian chocolate stout, whatever it's called. Um, I, I, like it. I think it's an excellent beer. I mean, if you want something super chocolatey and even more tasty than this, there are other beers out there. Um, but this one, this one is really, really good. Um, I think this is, this is like a good starter chocolate beer. Because like, as, as good as it is, it's not a hard beer to drink, so, um, I think it is pretty drinker friendly. And, you know, like, I, there's really nothing not to like except, well, maybe, you know, well, maybe a lightweight might have a little problem with the fact that it's, it's a pretty bitter beer. Because you do get the hops in there. But I do like that, that roasted malty taste on the finish with the chocolate. I just wish it was like maybe a little bit stronger, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I like it. So, again, it's 9 out of 10 for Magic Cat's uh, Fall 2009 Odd Notion, the chocolate Belgian stout or Belgian chocolate stout, whatever. Um, it's an excellent beer. I really like it. The problem, the problem is Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.